deal between the EU and Turkey aimed at restructuring numbers of refugees entering Europe has been put into force in the last few hours. Now, if someone in Greece doesn't meet the criteria for asylum, they'll be sent back to Turkey. The first of two groups of people to be returned boarded ferries on the Greek island of Lesbos and Chios. They were mostly from Pakistan and were taken to the Turkish port of Dikili. Well, we have correspondents covering this story in both Turkey and Greece. Let's begin with Randolph Nogal in the coastal town of Dikili, where a second ship carrying refugees has just docked. So, Randy, what's the latest there where you are? Well, it appears now three boats, uh, three passenger ferries, I should say, have pulled up here just off the Turkish coast. One has come and gone and off offloaded the migrants. Uh, another is now offloading migrants, and a third is sitting out at sea. Now, the migrants are being taken one by one by police to, the, to several tents that have been erected on the dock. There, they're being fingerprinted. Their names are being taken. And those that need help are being given uh, medical care. We did see one, at least one person being carried off in a medical, uh, on, on a stretcher. Now, the plan, according to police sources, is to load them onto buses for a long journey north to a camp uh, in a town on the Bulgarian border. Authorities there will decide what to do with them next. OK, well, Randy, for now, uh, Dikili, thank you very much. Now, before arriving in Turkey, that group was being housed on several Greek islands, including Lesbos, where uh, Annalise Borges is. So, Annalise, you were there this morning when the ferries left. Uh, how did the process seem from where you are, and what's happening now? Well, 131 uh, people were escorted by Frontex officers from the detention center they were being held uh, here to the port of Mytilene. This is where they boarded those ferries uh, that departed to Turkey at around 7 a.m. local time. These people were classified economic migrants, and they're part of the first group of people to be deported under that EU deal to relocate these people uh, in Turkey. And this plan is being criticized by international national aid organizations. They're questioning the legality of this plan. Doctors Without Borders has pulled out of this island saying that the deal was unfair and inhumane. And for more on that angle, I'm now joined by Wenzel Michelski from Human Rights Watch. Thank you so much for your time. What is your position on this deal? What is human rights position on this deal? First of all, it's mass returns, and mass returns are highly illegal under international law, under the European conventions, under the Geneva conventions. Then Turkey is not a safe country for refugees. We've seen deportations from Turkey to Syria. We don't know what happens to refugees and migrants who are not Syrians, who don't have any legal and social status in Turkey, who be, might be sent back to countries where they might be in harm. Turkey is uh, currently hosting almost 3 million refugees. The country has been praised by uh, international aid organizations for its efforts to house them, to accommodate them, to provide them with uh, education and job opportunities. What exactly is your concern when it comes to the relocation in Turkey? Sure. Um, I mean, uh, Turkey has done really a lot. But uh, we have uh, very good camps. We've seen very good camps in Turkey. But uh, they are not big enough. There, there need to be many more camps. And the international community has to help Turkey to set them up. And has hasn't happened yet. And also in Greece, we don't know how these people are handpicked. What is happening when all the media is gone, when they are starting to deport uh, women and children, which is also highly illegal? So Greece says it is treating each one of these cases individually, it is processing them, but they have changed the rules of the asylum process here. Now a process that used to take months is being uh, dealt with in only two weeks. Uh, is that your main area of concern, the lack of transparency in this process? Exactly. The lack of transparency shows that they have something to hide. What is going on here? Um, we should get access, the media, human rights organizations, we should get access to those detention facilities to monitor how the asylum proceeding is actually being handled. Wenzel Michalski, thank you so much for your time today. Uh, so lack of transparency is one concern. is also lack of efficiency uh, of uh, this deal because, of course, uh, many people here don't believe that this will deter refugees. We have seen in the last few hours more people continue to cross the Aegean Sea. In the last few hours, here on the Greek island of Lesbos, at least 57 people have arrived. Well, Annalise, for now in Lesbos, uh, thank you.